I think that it's safe to assume that after you watch this video, you'll probably agree that I have no talent whatsoever in video taping things at all. Avery, so I'm in Baltimore visiting my great Aunt Barbara and her husband John. They have a basement in their house, it's really cool. And we had a two and a half hour flight outside of Dallas and we had a really rough landing and I was kind of sleeping and then all of a sudden the plane went and I was like, whoa, did we just land? And Grandpa was like, that was a terrible landing. And it honestly was a really bad landing. Um, it was, uh, other than that, it was a pretty nice flight. It's really, really cool here. A little warm, the sun's out. But other than that, it's just absolutely beautiful. And I think there's a little baby flying squirrel on that tree. Flying squirrel, try chipmunk. Oh, look what it is. It's a little chipmunk. Now, how focused do you think I was that day? So we are at the Baldary Inn in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. It's really, really cute and really pretty. So this is the great room and our room is directly to the right and in front of you. So right here is the patio area. And I heard that over the course of three days of the Gettysburg battle, over 1,300 men were served here. There's a line of protection that was used to keep this as a safe house. All I could think about was how many like amputations and limbs, and how many limbs do you think are buried in this field? I don't know, but I don't, I probably don't want to know. Imagine like if the, if the zombie apocalypse happened, oh yeah, there's a hot tub, but if a zombie apocalypse happened, like how many limbs would crawl or legs, like random legs hopping around, they'd be, that'd be really gross. I'll try not to think about that. Show up here in 1938. They say that over 1,800 veterans showed up here. Average age being 94 years old with a veteran. Wow. That must have been quite a scene. Some of them, they said, actually camped out out here in these open fields at 90 years old, which is amazing. So only a couple of fist fights broke out. <laughs> we did have a private tour guide that was in our rental car, so I guess I tried to get some voice recordings or some videos of him talking. However, sometimes my finger was over the speaker or the part of the camera that picks up the noise. Folks, for this scenario, you will be in the front row. Up close and personal. Now watch how climactic this reenactment is. I think they deserve an award. So we are in Western Maryland driving to Antietam and we are north of the Potomac River. I was feeling a little sick by the last day so I didn't take any videos at Antietam but Antietam is known as the bloodiest Civil War battle and about 23,000 there were about 23,000 casualties and a casualty is anything from a death a missing in action, an injury, or a prisoner. So it doesn't necessarily mean 23,000 men died, but 23,000 men weren't good. So we are at the Geronimo Creek Retreat, and we are staying, as you can see behind me, in these awesome teepees. They're so nice, and they're so cool, and right, I guess, over here, you can see that we are camping out in Hill Country. So we stayed in Schlitterbahn for four days and we went inner tubing down the Guadalupe River, which the Guadalupe River is freezing, freezing cold. So the word that I'm going to leave you for this time is borda, which is Greek for door. Ciao! Okay, so here we go. Ew, it's really sticky. <laughs> This is gonna be to get off my face. Mm, um, uh, okay, it's good. I only saw it's no, good. No, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, <laughs> oh my god! I told my dad, Dad, okay, so I have to do a Nutella facial. He was on the phone, he was like, okay, knock yourself out. Ooh, I should be a cover girl model. Or like, you know? I I know it's in my hair. It's okay. Ew, it is in my hair. That's gross. Avery, you're nasty. <laughs>
Okay, am I stuck? Don't do it. Oh, hold on, hold on. Mm -hmm. Help you. Oh. God help you, please. <laughs> oh, do you like my really awesome band shirt? It's perfect. Oh. <laughs> you. Wow. I'm gonna need to pay back. I'm going to need to get my revenge. Okay, so if I heard Savannah right, I had to walk on 10 Legos. So here are my 10 Legos. Yeah, that hurts. Legos are really painful. I know this video is over five minutes or four minutes long. And I, yeah, but I was having some technology problems. So I just kind of was like, oh, oh well, I'll just do another challenge. So yeah.